Today we got an awesome keyboard. If that's what you're looking for, you're in the right place. Gaming and editing 60% RGB keyboard that comes with a mouse. An RGB mouse that is color changeable. Not a lot of keyboards are going to give you the combo. This is only at 14 bucks, A bang for your buck. Here at Tech for Rec, I go over the products so that you don't get robbed. So, let's unbox this bad boy. I'm big on packaging. Packaging is like a big thing to me. If you don't take pride in your packaging, then I think the product is not going to be so good. But, so far, big ups to Bluefinger. The cardboard is sturdy. The box is sturdy. And I think that's very important. It says a lot. They got a manual here. I'm... Definitely not going to take a look at that. This bad boy feels awesome. And the color on it, the black is just like, I don't know, it's like an extra black. And it's like mini, mini. In fact, it's even smaller than the warmer K60 edition, uh, XVX Phoenix. That is my actual go-to RGB keyboard. I like to have the option. Well, look at this bad boy. I saw I uncover it. Check this out. So it's cool that the plastic is over it and all. Look at the black on that bad boy. And look at how tiny it looks. I think it's awesome. Doesn't look, look neat there. I don't know. This might be my new go-to keyboard. This is the way I'm feeling right now. I'm pushing towards that. It's never about the money. It's about how does it feel. So it's clicky. If you're into the click, click, click sound, it's a little clicky and it's sturdy. Um, could use a little looping if that's what you're really into, but I'm fine with it just like that right out the box. Let's get the typing. 90% uh, of people in the world wouldn't probably be able to tell the difference anyway. So you'll be more than happy with this. But if there's some cons to it, I'm going to let you know that too. And that's kind of sort of one for some people, but not a biggie for me. So it's USB 2.0, of course, 98% of stuff is. And 98% of stuff is made in China, blue finger. Now, this is the mouse. You're getting a bang for your buck. The DPI on this mouse is not bad, but we're going to get into that. It has a red and black braided cord. By the way, so does the keyboard. It's braided. Uh, so it's not that hard, leathery, rubbery thing. It comes with a little manual, thank you note, and all that. So that's cool from the company. Uh, all this, oh, and the packaging on that mouse is super sturdy. So that's awesome. Look at that mouse, bro. It has like a little grippy feeling. It has the side buttons. And I think it's a muscle, like a muscle car. 2.0, again, of course. It has its adapter there for the power. Uh, so it's pretty uh, durable also. It's not a mini. The mouse is not a mini mouse. It's a full-hand mouse. So, you know, if you have tiny, 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 super tiny hands, it's probably not the mouse for you. But, you know, the, the blades on the bottom, the skates, the way I call them, uh, pretty cool, and they pretty smooth. Uh, you know, to be perfectly honest, if you compare it to a the Viper Mini that's right there next to it, then it's a different story. We're talking about $14 for a combo that's going to get you up and running so that you don't break the bank, right? Look at the lighting on it. It's awesome, and that's with the lights actually on in here right now. All my lights are on. My panels to my setup are on and a light over me but it's, it's kind of dimmed out so you can really say like the two panels are facing directly to it at like uh 40 percent so that's what a pretty much lighting hitting it. it's just everything is black i'm gonna turn one out so you can see now so and then again i haven't uh boosted up the coloration on the lighting on this thing i'm pretty sure there's a brightness uh, lower and higher 
situation that you can uh, get into there. And uh, I'll figure that out in a second. There's always uh, buttons that you press FN. I think it's on this one is uh, FN. To adjust the brightness is FN and O and NFL. I'm pretty sure... L is to lower it and O is to optimize, right? And uh, for speeds is F N U or F N J. That's for the speed adjustment of the lighting if you want to uh, get into that part of it. But there I turned the lights back on. But what you can do is you can switch the coloration with uh, F. N M and uh, F M F N K. So these are the buttons that you're gonna be using. You press F N at the same time you hit F M. You get it? Like F N F N is one button plus the M button together. You get it? And then you're gonna hit the F N button plus the K button together. And that's going to give you different colorations, different patterns, turning it red, purple, blue, and yada, yada, and so have you, right? And then you can put the mouse in a certain color mode so that it matches. And you have the combo lighting up in a proper way while you're making content and it's behind you, different uh, look in your scenery. You always want to change things up. That's a nice color, the turquoise, the purple, the blue, the yellow. It has pretty much colors uh, for a little $14 device. And again, what you're trying to do here is you're trying to get the most value for your dollar. A bang for your buck. I think the blue looks awesome and the purple on that mouse. Uh, most people will leave it red and black just because the cabling is red and black. But it doesn't really matter. I think the purple is awesome, too. I like the brightness, colors. Colors make people happy. Look at that. That looks pretty cool together. There goes the purple combo together, you know? So it, it don't throw nothing off. It's cool. You can always uh, cover it up with another black overlay cable. That There's like a little cover cable to it if you want to add that. It's probably like $2, a dollar of that. But I think it's great uh, just like that. There's... Your setup has always got like red here or there, whether it's in another plug or something. So it's going to blend right in. Uh, again, for $14, you still got people that will cry and be like, oh, but this or that, right? You're paying $13.99 when you hit the link in the description. Look at with the lights off. One of the only cons that I really have about this, so when we go to the cons thing, is that for me, the mouse should have had a more variety of colors. And I am i don't know if there's a way to toggle it and deal with it and probably press other buttons. It just said one button there to press different color modes. And I did exactly that and didn't look for no more, to be perfectly honest. Just because normally mouses, I deal with it through software. And when it comes to hitting a button, it's normally just one button on the mouse. But I've also learned in previous products that I've reviewed that once you plug it in, there's a whole bunch of different ways to change the coloration, even on the keyboard with software that works to change lighting universally. On all devices those softwares do exist so you can look for that and google that find the link and download it and you'll be able to change it hopefully but other than that i'm pretty sure there has to be a different way and if not those three colors were perfectly fine for me for 13 14 dollars you're not gonna get that anywhere is it good would i buy it again of course i will and I'm not saying I'm not saying that because I'm reviewing the product. I'm saying that because I buy these products for me and just show the public or my viewers from my other channel on the lockout or Golden Culture plug plug, which you can look up on the lockout podcast on Google and you can hear it in an audio format 
or you can watch the visual videos on the lockout on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, all over. We also got on the lockout gaming. So it's on the lockout and on the lockout gaming are two different channels. And I'm on Twitch on the lockout, Facebook on the lockout. TikTok on the lockout, all platforms on the lockout, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Cashbox FM. Look us up. We're doing a whole lot of giveaways on all these platforms. And who knows? I might give this keyboard and mouse away. Let me know what should I review next, what you guys would like to see, what you would like to know. And would you like me to put the link to my whole setup? In the description so that you can maybe get the, the same things that I have to get a bang for your buck so you don't get robbed. That's all we're doing is trying to show the peoples how to also do this. You're going to need a keyboard and mouse for your content creation. 14 bucks. You can't beat that. Some of us spend hundreds. I got a keyboard and mouse in front of me. It's over $160 right here. The one I'm using. Did I need to spend that money? No. I wish I would have found this or knew this one sooner. Because they both do the exact same thing. I promise. <laughs>